Hello and welcome to this installment of the Grail Spot instructional video series. In this video I will show you how to set up the GHB to place a simple bet in auto select mode. So if this is the first time that you've used the bot then you will be in manual select mode. So I'm just going to talk you through how to switch between manual select and auto select modes. So we go to the action menu and select bot configuration. Now this screen contains a number of global settings which are all turned on at default. You can leave them that way for now. To find out more about the options, you can click on the blue question mark here in the top corner. So what we want to do here is go to the type of bot button and choose auto select. Then we press the green accept button to apply the change and follow the series of on-screen prompts. To switch between modes, the bot needs to be restarted, so we just follow through the on-screen prompts as I'm doing here. Once the bot is closed down, we can load it up again from the shortcut on our programs list. And as you can see, we are now in auto select mode. OK, now we have switched modes, it's time to log in. So we go to action and select login. Here you enter your member's username. This is the one you set up from the member's area. Then your Betfair username and your Betfair password. Then you simply tick the Conterms and Conditions box and press the OK button to log in. Once you are logged in, this little green icon will show you are logged in on the main screen. And of course, your Betfair balance will be displayed. So now we need to set up our options. So we go to the Action menu and select Options. The Options menu contains all of the betting parameter functions, which as you can see, there are rather a lot of. Now in this video I'm just going to show you how to get the bot to place a straightforward bet. So I'm going to gloss over some of the options and some of the non-essential settings. However you can view more in-depth information about each area of the bot by clicking these blue question mark icons in the top corner. So first we need to decide which type of event we're going to bet on. So by clicking the event type drop down we can see all of the events that the Grail spot can get involved in. For this example I'm going to use horse racing. Next we have the max API rate box. This can be left at default for now. We then need to choose whether we are going to trade live or in paper mode. Live mode means that the bot will be placing live bets on the market and paper mode will be simulation betting. In this mode the bot will behave as if it is placing your bet but will not put a real bet into the market. One thing to remember when paper trading is that the results displayed are not 100% accurate as we do not have a real live bet to settle but it is a great way for testing it out and checking up on the results later. There is more information about paper trading again on the blue question mark. OK, so next we move into the profit and loss stop settings. This is one of the most important features of the bot which is why I would like you to set it up now. You have several options here. The bot will stop at whichever one of these figures is hit first. Remember, there is more informa detailed information for these features on the blue question mark in the top corner. So for this test, let's set up a simple stop at profit and stop at loss. This represents a monetary figure that your session must reach or exceed for the bot to stop all further bets. You can also set this as a percent of your bank by ticking the box below. So once we've set up the stop limit, we move over to the session tab. This tab has a number of advanced features and there's more about this later in the video series. You can access this info again by going to the blue question mark as I mentioned before. But for now, we're going to set our start betting TTS. This is a global setting that tells the bot when to start monitoring the odds to place your bet. You can set this to whatever number of seconds that you wish, but please do remember that it has to be in seconds. So for this example, I'm just going to use the default and bet at 60 seconds or 1 minute before the start of the race. OK, so now let's move down to your stake and odds range settings. This is where you will set up your master betting conditions. If you have already seen the bot in manual select mode, then you will notice that there are a lot more options in auto mode. So let's go through setting this up. As you can see, we have the option to back or lay on tabs at the top of this at top of the area here. Both tabs are identical except one will set up the bot to back and the other will set up the bot to lay. You can do both at the same time if you wish or one or the other. But please remember if you're switching from back to lay or vice versa to untick the opposite. For this example we're going to back so we set the back tab up like this. First, let's select our stake type. The two main ones are stake. 
This is the fixed amount that you wish to bet. Or liability. This is mainly for laying, which is your stake worked out based on the odds on offer. The other options here are covered in more detail again on the blue question mark. So for this example we're going to use standard level stake. We set our stake to 10p and move down to our odds trigger range. The odds trigger range is the minimum and maximum odds limits that you are want to take on that you willing willing to take on your bet. So for this example let's set it to 1.02 to 10 to allow the bot to capture those specific odds when you load your markets. Next we move down to the odds type. These options allow you to tweak your odds limits and settings. As you can see there are four options. These are pretty much self-explanatory, however it's worth looking them up on the blue question mark if you're not sure. In this example we're going to use BEST because this tells the bot to offer your bet to the exchange at the best price available within your odds trigger limits. Once we have set this we move over to our auto mode bet settings. Now you may notice that this, se this section is quite different from the manual select mode and this is because in auto select mode the bot will choose your bets for you based on the settings here in these tabs. What I'm going to do now is give you a quick overview of the general tab as this is the most important for auto mode betting. So along the top here we have the place market tool. Selecting this allows you to only instruct the bot to use the place markets but also which payout, place payout races to get involved in. Next we have the back lay all runners within price range. Quite self-explanatory, it will simply place a back or lay bet depending on which one you have selected on every single runner that falls into your odds trigger range. Bet by rank or index tells the bot to apply the conditions below to either rank order, for example favourite, second favourite and so on, or bet in the index order, for example first, would be the first horse listed in the Betfair race card and so on. For this example we're going to use bet on rank. So then we move down to the selection options. As you can see there are a number of additional filters here and you can then tick the boxes to highlight the positions for the bets. Now I appreciate that there are quite a lot of options here. Using the blue question mark will give you a much clearer outline of each function. Ok so for this example we're going to place a bet on the first and second favourites in the Betfair market so we simply tick the bet box for first and second. So we've got our main options set up now what we need to do is hit the green OK button to save our settings and next we need to add some markets. So we go to action select market management then add markets. This will bring up the screen you see here stating getting markets please wait. This is pulling down all of the course race and info from Betfair so sometimes it can take a little while normally no more than a minute or so. Please make sure that you wait for this splash screen to disappear of its own accord before you attempt to add any markets because closing the splash screen manually cuts off the data connection to Betfair's market pool which will result in the markets not forming correctly in the bot. So once the splash screen is gone here you have a list of filters that allow you to break down the available markets to only view the ones that you're interested in. If this is the first time that you use the bot you may find that it is blank like this. If you're familiar with Betfair then you will be able to understand what each of these filters are for. You can always refer once again to the blue question mark if you are unsure. For this example we're going to take a look at the UK win markets. So we would set our filters like this. We now have all of the UK win markets for today. So next we select the races that we want. You can select more than one race by holding down the control key and clicking multiple races. Then clicking OK to load the markets. And here we are, our selected markets are now on the main screen. Now you may notice that this is also different from manual select mode because the market names are already black in colour. This is because the auto, in auto select mode there is no requirement to view the race card. So here we have the main screen of the bot with our races loaded and ready to go. You click start on the bot and this will warn you that you're about to go live trading or paper trading if, depending on which one that you've chosen. This column here is called bets. This is where the, your selection will appear once it has been submitted to the exchange. You can expand or collapse this and any of the other columns by simply clicking and dragging on the column divider. So now all we have to do is wait for our bet to be picked up. As you can see, at 60 seconds before the start of the race, the bot goes into a monitoring state. It will then go to done 
And there you go. We have a bet on the favourite, Alan's Grove, at 2.90. And the second favourite, American Lover, at 5.60. And that's how you set up a simple bet in manual select mode.